Today is going to be a little different episode because it's not so much going to be about cars, it's more so about an artist and uh, specifically the artist who made this painting. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Tanner Seymour. I like to tell uh, car stories, I guess, but more so about the people rather than just the cars. I'm excited to introduce you guys to Romana. Romana is who I like to call the Porsche painter. Uh, one of the best out there, one of the best automotive artists in general out there. I'm super excited because Romana painted this, <laughs> which is one of one of my photos, and I, I'm very lucky. Thank you, Romana, uh, really. like I. I I've been waiting to put this up and to talk about this episode um, and, and to release this interview for a long, long time. But before we get to Romana, I wanna thank our sponsors, Pelican Parts. Pelican Parts has been a huge supporter of the channel. They're actually supporting in giving you guys the stories. Without them, I could not do what I'm doing now. So Pelican Parts, what are they? They're a online retailer for all the things you need as far as parts go <laughs> for your modern to classic European cars. Pelican Parts has some of the best deals on the parts you're looking for, whether you're restoring, modifying, or simply just maintaining your car. Pelican Parts is the place to go. So go check them out. Pelican Parts, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And one more person I wanna give a shout out to, these guys right here, Outlaw Gear. Outlaw Gear makes hats, shirts, as well as they're kind of staple, these bracelets right here. So if you wanna show your love for the Outlaw community, Outlaw Gear is the place to go. Go check them out. Thank you so much, Outlaw Gear. Uh, they're not a sponsor of the channel, full transparency. They just hooked me up with these. I want to give them some love and uh, support anyone in the community who, uh, who supports the channel. So without further ado, I would love to introduce you guys to the Porsche Painter. My name is Romana and I'm an automotive artist. I started with portraits of women in black and white. And then, yeah, my boyfriend has a race car. <laughs> and he said, hey, you can do cars or, I don't know, um, portraits of, of uh, racers. And I thought about, yeah, okay, let's do that. And my first portrait of a racer was a portrait of Ayrton Senna. And it was pretty good. I thought, okay, let's do it. Let's do cars. And my first car was a Eleonore in black and white. I had no idea how to paint that. I had no idea how to use the, the pencils. And yeah, I did everything by my own. I learned everything by my own. YouTube videos and documentaries and looking at um, paintings from, from other artists. And yeah, then I started uh, the painting from the Eleanor. After the Eleanor, I did my first Porsche <laughs> in color, and it was a GT2 in Miami blue. <laughs> yeah, GT2 Miami blue. The 964 in slate gray for Chris Rosenberger. It was a pretty big one. Pretty, pretty big one. I don't know how many hours it takes to paint that. 100, 150 hours with tiniest pencils. And yeah, that was the first painting which goes through heaven. Oh, can I say that? <laughs> yeah, lots of people liked it. And after this, Lots of Porsche guys say, oh, that's great. Can you paint my Porsche? And yeah, that was the start of the career. Let's say that. The style I paint is, yeah, most of the time hyper-realistic. But 
I also love to do in motion stuff, like night shots. It's like you, you put something from, from you on the canvas when you send it. Bam, bam, bam. It's, yeah, that's passion. It happens. I choose painting because of I want to, to bring my mood on a canvas and I want to have, yeah, the, the people should feel what I feel in this situation. Um, my mood and if I'm happy today or not, I, I, need, I need my canvas and my, it's my me time. I need to sit before in front of my canvas and paint. I paint when I'm angry, I paint when I'm happy, when I'm sad. And all these feelings um, got into my paintings and I think the people feel that. And yeah, that's the reason I paint. One of my favorite paintings is <laughs> 10944 from Nick. Yeah, in this moody, moody um, situation in, in the wood. I think Evan took the, the picture. And the scene on the beach with uh, Brock and Nick. That was my first one, which was like, boom. So really, really, boom. Before I started the painting um, from Nick and, and Brock, I had a blockout for four months. I didn't paint for four months because, I don't know, it happens. I was not in the mood and everything was shit and I went home from work and sit in front of the canvas and I was like, I need, I need something to paint, I need something to paint. And I looked at Instagram and found the shot from, from Evan. I didn't ask him, I sat in front of the canvas and was like, okay, I have to paint this now. It's, yeah, music on. <laughs> I think it was um, Ain't No Sunshine from Bill Withers. <laughs> I don't know, for four hours and Tuck, boom, there was the painting on the canvas and I wrote even and, and I said I hope you are not angry I took your picture and just painted it here it is and yeah that was it most of my emotional paintings ever <laughs> painting portraits is different than painting cars you have to I don't know sit in front of that look at the picture and thinking about how he is and it's like you you know him yeah when you look at the reference picture it's like how would he be how will he talk and yeah kind of different really difficult to paint you have to bring the the motion in the eyes I started with the eyes every time when I do in portraits because for me that's the most important thing of a portrait. Yeah. Where, where did I start when painting cars? <laughs> the rims and tires. Because I hate to paint rims and tires. <laughs> that's the yeah, no, that's horrible. Paint yeah, rims and tires. And then lights. And then the rest of it. Experience about an artist, to be an artist, it's rough because there are many, many good artists, automotive artists, and yeah, portrait artists. But you should be a bit different than I don't know how to say that. I want to be, I like to be emotional and yeah i i paint for not for for people i want to paint what i want and not what other people say oh do you paint my portrait this and that and no no i want to paint what i want it comes i say it comes from my heart so the, the paintings are good people can feel that that's the difference so yeah but it's rough there are so many good artists and there are not many female artists not really not that kind of style I do 
most of the automotive artists are guys. In, in Austria there are not many automotive female artists. I think I'm the only one. What do you think you're going to paint next? <laughs> I know what I'm painting next. But I will not say it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't feel it. Yeah. I don't feel it. Fuck. She's leaving me somewhere. There it is. <laughs> I felt it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? What? <laughs> no, wait. You did not paint that. What is this? Yeah, that's that, that quick. <laughs> That is me! Oh, you are too good! You are too good! It's not even funny! <laughs> Hey, if you stayed till the end, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this channel and enjoying the content I put out and able to get. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without the viewers like you and like the person like yourself who's watching to the end. So thank you so much. Next episode, we have a very special interview with Mo and Kirsten. I am very excited because they are the organizers of Sick Alps. If you have lived under a rock, maybe you've never heard of Sick Alps, but, but it's been all over everyone's Porsche feeds lately. And uh, we get to actually get an interview with the organizers full in depth, uh, you know, reason into why Sick Alps is the way it is and what it is. So I'm very excited for that. Stay tuned next week, next Saturday. Comment below some of your favorite artists in the community, whether it's Outlaw Porsches or uh, just some of the automotive community. I'd like to see who's out there. Tag them below if they got a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for anyone and everyone who wants to work together and build this community. So, but with all that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.